So we have seen how our body parts are controlled by our nervous system. How the voluntary and involuntary functions of our body are under the control of the nervous system. But there are certain activities, cellular metabolism, the rate of metabolism, how they are controlled. So the activities of the cells are controlled or coordinated by some other system. We have uh, seen that nervous system is controlling the other physical activities. But how these kind of chemical, biochemical, metabolic reactions in our body are controlled. So this is achieved by some other system, the coordinating system which works without nerves. So the coordination without the nerves is brought up by endocrine system of our body. So endocrine system is a hormonal system which secretes hormones. So these hormones control the various activities, cellular metabolism and so many changes in our body. So before we discuss about this endocrine system, the hormones, let us talk about one important hormone, the story of insulin. You might have heard the term insulin is a very much essential thing for the people, those who are suffering from diabetes, sugar disease. You might have seen people who are suffering from sugar disease taking insulin injections under their skin. So this insulin is very important hormone without the production of insulin in our body. It leads to diabetes, sugar disease. So they need to take the ins insulin injections every day. They should take the insulin supplement. So that is to control the blood sugar level. The sugar or the glucose should not be in excess quantity in our blood. So if the sugar is found excess in quantity in our blood, you call it as diabetes. That is caused due to lack of this insulin hormone. So that is the importance of uh, that insulin. Now let us talk about the story of insulin, how it was discovered. In 1868, there was a scientist called as Paul Langerhans. So he was a professor of pathology. in Freeburg University. So when this Paul Langerhans, he was doing his research in pathology. So he observed that cells of pancreas, pancreas is a part of our digestive system. And this pancreas is responsible in producing pancreatic juice, which aids in the process of digestion. But what Paul Langerhans observed, there are some cells in the pancreas which are floating like small islands. So he called them as islets. Islets, yes, silent, islets. So what are these islets? Islets, islet is nothing but island. So those cells are floating like some islands. They are not like the other tissue which is uh, pro producing the pancreatic juice and all. These cells are different. They are not producing the digestive juice. They have separate function. But it was not known what was the function of that. Just he observed that there are some cells in pancreas which are floating like islands. So he called that. Those cells were called as islets of Langerhans. So later, the other people, those who are working on the same concept, identifying the function of the cells which are floating like islands. So they have taken the function of observing those cells. So these people have found that removal of pancreas leads to a condition called diabetes. That is the sugar disease. So they observed that if pancreas is removed from an experimental animal, it leads to a sugar disease. That means high amounts of glucose in the blood and that is excreted in the urine. Such condition it was observed by the people. So these people, they carried out their experiments. They uh, further in the further experiments, they found that. So this pancreas, whatever the pancreas is there, this pancreas, it's having a duct connected to duodenum. Duodenum. So duodenum is a part of that uh, digestive system. That means the pancreatic juice, which is secreted in the pancreas is entered into the duodenum. 
But what these people observed, they tied this duct which is passing the pancreatic juice to the digestive system. So then what happened? It is degenerated. The duct is degenerated here, there is no functional activity. But still, these islets are still active. That means they understood that these islands or these islet cells are not responsible or they don't have any job regarding the digestion, di digestion process. They have some specific other role. And they also observed that they tied this duct, but the islets are still active and the experimental animal did not get any sugar disease. That means these islets are responsible in controlling the blood sugar. That is the direct proof they got it. So the rest of the pancreas, except the islet cells, the rest of the pancreas is responsible for the process of digestion, producing pancreatic juices. Whereas these islets are responsible for the control of blood sugar. But they also observed that these islets are secreting something which is directly into the blood. Blood is carrying that hormone to the different parts. So they named, that is, uh, named it as insulin. Insulin. So insulin, insula also means that island. The secretion of the islet cells is called as insulin. So this insulin is produced but they don't know how to extract it, how to separate it and they could not see its form, just identified that the hormone is secreted by the islets directly into the bloodstream. So later in Toronto, Benting, Best and McLeod, these people, Benting and Best and McLeod. So these people, successfully they could extract the insulin hormone from an animal's pancreas. They extracted the insulin. So this insulin, they have given that injection to a dog to which its pancreas is removed. So to that dog, this insulin is given and the dog is alive and its blood sugar level is not raised. So practically the insulin, it was extracted by these people. Later, commercially, lot of insulin is being extracted from the animals and that is being used as a supplement for the people who are suffering with diabetes or sugar disease. So they are taking that insulin hormone which is extracted, that hormone as injections to control their blood glucose level.